Welcome back to your balanced diet of Teletim and this fluffy morning. Now, time for us to send you things there with the trend for inside the news of Yobodo, Nigeria. Now, we see the federal government, they don't talk, come outside, talk to you, they don't ready to offer more of their assets for sale very, very soon. Now, under the ongoing privatization program, with the talk, say this program, they on grant to make sure say they raise more money to implement the country's 2018 deficit um, based budget. Now, according to them, the talk say just recently, the Nigeria Security Printing and Minting Company Limited, PLC, say they actually they are flo uh, floated with the Central Bank of Nigeria, which already they don't get major stake. Imagine the preferred buyer given the company's um, security status. Now, the CBN governor, whether they call governing MFLA, and I come outside, disclose this one while in they brief the Nigeria delegation for the end of the International Monetary Fund took World Bank Group meetings for inside Bali for Indonesia. Now, in his own words, he come outside, talk, say, I did very aware as a member of the National Council of Privatization. Say more they come, and I believe, say, in due course, say the Bureau of Public Enterprise will actually make this one day available for us. He also come outside, talk, say, I did very aware of the situation where they for inside the Jakuta Steel um, Company of Nigeria. He said this one also there for inside the cut. First, uh, for a total review of the process of privatization and then payments go actually follow so that our alumni sector fee eventually come alive. Now also the CBN Commerce I tell investors say they go continue it to the defend the local currency through the exchange rate intervention to actually make sure they maintain price stability and avoid currency depreciation where we know say happened just a few years ago. Now he talked plenty, plenty things. The last one when he come and I talk, he said, I think say we don't actually do a very good job. Not only to make sure say we try to create a stable exchange rate, but also we they try to make sure say the way we are, our money take come down in the past years, say not come um, down again, make we normalize them. He said we are going to build, we are going to need to build buffers, but unfortunately, I must say that we did for inside the pre period, whereby it's very difficult to talk about building and reserve. Now, we think come as I talk. But in the nutshell, in come as I talk, say, plans still there on ground for Nigeria to sell some of their assets, just to get more money to fee, actually feed into our 2018 budget. Wow. Um, speaking of this, now I know this national asset is something we will not talk about since the year 2016 or even beyond. When, when um, the issues like national stadium become on top play, and then so many other or so many other assets where they come outside here, national theater as well because of the the poor state. But make we even look some of the ones where we don't try privatize some of the sectors where we don't try privatize. We don't try bring in the investors with the interest. And how many has been effective? Now we not say Nigeria. Well, according to them, they say we've come out of recession. But even during by the time when they go through the recession, during by the time 2016 or so, when other countries were ever going through worse rece uh, recession, countries like Venezuela, countries like Brazil, like Greece, Ecuador, Russia, their recession hit was worse than waiting Nigeria be the face or what we're facing now. The only difference say we get insecurity issues, we add to the, you know, to the, to the recession what they face. But how many of these countries, if we look at how many of these countries, Ecuador, Venezuela, how many of them bring out their national assets say they need to sell? During the during when they, they their own their recession was in the negative. Our recession was less than ten percent. Theirs is in the negative minus two point three minus three point five. Where these countries be they face? How many of them bring out their national assets? Where they get say we need to sell it this the only way. If you use a case study of Venezuela, Venezuela started to do it and they started to increase boost production locally. They started to do other things where be make their own country be actually try to move forward. Even though we know say Venezuela is still still worse hit now as we speak. But well, let's not forget many, that this is our asset. Are we managing it well? No, even if we're not managing. Well, but, but, but the, that's what I'm saying. But the private ones, what we don't do privatization. Mm -hmm. How many has been effective? How many? Well, basically, if you ask me, I go talk. Say it depends on the kind of assets we privatize. Um, they get some affect, assets we privatize. We, we, we our government supposed to know. Say we know go to on top. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For example, if you privatize the National Arts Theater, uh, I know expect say the kind of money we go make on top that one go be which you go make on top of Jakarta Steel Industry. A Jakarta Steel mm -hmm. Industry now, uh, as you been read for there, now some we go boost our aluminium sector. It, it go boost mechan um, you know mechanical mechanical production because first of all we know say um, Nigeria no be production economy anymore. We, right, right. we hardly produce anything. But if we privatize our steel uh, industry and it works and it out works well, well, it works mm -hmm. out well, we'll get a lot of steel production, a lot of aluminum production. And these days, we don't go to need to go into very heavy machinery with aluminum properly. We go feed, produce different things. Also, make you not forget, say, largely, many of the things will be government uh, 
owned. government owned or government no, they, run. exactly they know they thrive they, yeah like it or not so if this is privatized of course the bottom line we say if they do and well we do know they largely well. so many things they do for a country we know they do and well if we be get and well right this one go this one will boost our production okay. economy one Two, it can provide more jobs. Okay. Three, we know as government, we know as government work they be. Uh, government, they say government work now. Nah, everybody papa work. You can come anytime. You can leave anytime. You can do what you want to do. Now nah, they will, they will be proper well, monitoring. Taking it out of the hands exactly. of government. So why can't proper the government monitoring. sit down and think of how to make their own effectivity, their own productivity better? Like you talk, if you like say government work for Nigeria and I work with now our are coming anytime. Why can't there be a change in well, that side? Well, change start with our say, ministry. Exactly. As, as, it's, it's a as the government say so the change no come. The government knows that the change no come. So let's hand it over to private. It's sad. No I mean, because well. if you if you look things like look at the oil sector, look at the NNPC. You know, say some at some point they will even sell some part of the ref, some refineries mm. for inside yes. um, Potter Court, Kaduna. They wanted to sell those refineries. Mm -hmm. Now, when people look the railway, where at some point they even want privatized, they want private sectors to come inside. So many of these things are still not even well in place as we speak. Even though they talk, say okay, make we do some kind of PPP. Even when government they do PPP at times, um, public private partnership, a lot of times the private investors pull out. A typical example is the national identity management scheme where we get like PPP. Talk, they, 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 they spill the away from it. Mm. Is it very possible? Say we not actually go through the right process in getting private ownership. You understand? But if we do and well, it's supposed to work for Nigeria. But we I have technocrats that we're paying and we're saying these people are not doing their jobs and they're collecting money for it. Mm. Are you kidding me? Wow. It is um, sad. It is sad, wow. but that wasn't going to happen. But not happen for Nigeria. So yeah, they say the first solution, the, the first step to solving your problem is knowing that there's a problem. Yes. So first of all, we know that we get issue with our government-run mm -hmm. establishment. First solution, don't start. Very true. The next step now to see whether we feel solve them or whether we feel privatized. Very true. If solving is not, it doesn't seem visible, then mm -hmm. we privatize. But we go make sure our government see two kind inside privatization. I agree. So that people don't go suffer eventually when private establishment put hand inside. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.